Today we're going to make a poppy flower. First of all, we're going to start with the stem. And all you have to do is pull, fold over a little bit of the stem and give it a little twist. And then we set that down. Then we take our patty pants and we press them out. Press them out. And what you're going to do now is you're going to take your dark color and you're going to color a big black circle in the middle of each of the patty pans. There's one. Big circle. There we go. Then we put the circles together like that on top of each other. And then we fold it in half like that. Now we're going to cut it in three places. You're going to grab it with your thumb and you're going to cut it down the middle to your thumb, just to the black part where you've done the black. And then you're going to do one more cut on this side, like that. And then another cut on this side. So then you will have your petals for your puppy. Now, we just take our toothpick and we need to put a little hole right in the center of the black part. So take your toothpick and just twist it a bit and put it through like that. And do it on both of your poppy petals. Right through there. You don't want to rip it. You want to do it very gently. Then you're going to take your stem and you're going to feed the poppy petals on the bottom part of the stem. Gently pull it through to the top of the stem, like that. And then you're going to do that with the other one. Put it through, the black part is facing up. Pull it through gently like that. And there's your flower. And to keep it in place, you can take a bead or you can even take tape. And I'm just going to put this stem, thread it through to the back of this flower to keep it in place. And there we have our poppy flower. Let me show you something else. If you take a jam jar and clean it out, you can make a really nice table setting for Anzac Day or for Remembrance Day. And put all your poppy flowers into the little jam jar and put it on your table.